All right, everybody, welcome back to yet another episode of Ice Weekly. I'm your host, Easton Oi, joined with... Hi, Mitsuwa here, and I'm finally able to co-host another Osu Weekly episode. Yay! And let's go ahead and get started with the news. Os had its 12th birthday around two weeks ago. Wilts Q is the first person to achieve level 110 in Osu standard, having more than 1,000 billion score. Wacom Hong Kong's official account promoted Os in one of its gaming stores. Indonesian player Ruto is now in the top 50. Congrats to him! On September 19th, it was three years since Z did his hidden and hard rock FC on Freedom Dive. And wow, I still remember it like it was just yesterday. Cohen Sound is now a new featured artist. One of the biggest news in the OS community was the German player White Cat, who had gotten unrestricted at the start of the week and already got to one digit and is still going up, sending a bunch of amazing plays. Congratulations with his return to Bancho. Mika is now top 3, passing Flying Tuna and Freddy Benson, coming close to Itki, having a 150pp gap to top 2. The Korean player Taka had gotten unbanned. Fiery Rage's map of So Happy Song has been qualified, with a star rate of 9.43. It was Raphis' birthday on the 24th of September, late congratulations to him from the whole community. Player American Penguin now has 1000 first place ranks, what an achievement to reach. With the waves of unbans and unrestrictions, Korean player Legendre joins Bancho as well. Vaxe has decided to take a break from Osu. White Cat, who has, as mentioned, successfully returned from the ban, achieved to FC Sotarx's PP comp excuse me, Sotarx's song compilation with hidden and double time and an accuracy of 98.57%, one combo away from a perfect one. This first try, by the way, got him right below Mika on the second spot on the global leaderboards and rewarded him with 823 PP. Holy shit. Next up, we've got Korean speed player Zestiny, who managed to be the first one to pass Yomi Yuri Kikoyu in refurbation AR9 difficulty with double time only, getting a maximum combo of 109 and an accuracy of 71.48% gave him a C rank on a 10.3 star map full of 330 BPM streams. What a mad lad. Back to White Cat, who set some insane scores after only a few hours of getting unbanned. One of his first places set on Bancho after three years was Fiery's extra difficulty on Sotsarx's map set of Quaver. The now rank 1 German player FC'd this map with hidden and double time and an accuracy of 98.62%, which is a total of 762 BP and a well deserved 10th spot on the global leaderboards. First FC! Lastly, talking about FG Sky, who managed to get a really good easy hidden double time play, full comboing Taeyeon's remote control with an accuracy of 99.55%. Not counting easy double time plays on Hidamari, this would be the new easy PP record with an amount of 579 PP.
Speaking of fiery rages difficulty on Quaver, Maxim Bogdan, who is one of the best Romanian players on O's, set a 3 miss score on the popular farm map, with hidden and double time and hard rock as well. First missing 16 combo away from an FC, he got himself to the 13th spot of the global leaderboards as well as a new top play, that is almost worth 100 PP more than his previous one. Next up, we have Koalia accused Nomad FC on Nakagave Cannon's Freedom Dive for Dimensions difficulty, which was achieved during warm up before a tourney match. Despite all the 222 BPM streams, he manages to keep an impressive 99.06% accuracy, placing him 8th on the global leaderboards while earning him a total of 563 PP. The next player on our list is Shiroa, formerly known as Doomy, FCing in a night when her sorrow resounds around with hidden double time and getting an incredible 97.54% accuracy. This play placed him second on the global leaderboards and earned him his first ever 800pp play, with this play being worth 817pp. Good job to him. This next play is from a player known as MB4. FCing the 62nd Kani Dolak Ayura difficulty with hidden double time and an accuracy of 98.21%. This play awarded him 829 PP. White Cat's up next with his 3 miss run on Super Driver in Fiery's Extreme Difficulty with Hidden and Double Time. He managed to keep an accuracy of 98.18% despite the misses, giving him a total of 774 PP, but no leaderboard placement. That's so nice, but I don't think I can accept that. It's just too much. That thing's like $300 or more. I just wait for my own. I'm gonna save now. Best belief. Okay. No! The next play is from Azer8, who have seen Sotax holding on, immortal difficulty, with hidden double time, achieving the same accuracy as Faxi at 98.32%. This score rewarded him with 726 PP and the second place on the global leaderboards at the time.
Next, we have Choco Mint getting a 6 miss pass on Extra's difficulty of the CJ's Megalovania dual mix with Hidden, which is 8 misses less than the score he managed to set during his prime in 2017. Being a whooping 9.61 stars, players are continuously battered with crazy jumps and streams at 240 beat per minute throughout the map. Despite all this, Choco Mint still managed to hold a supreme accuracy of 98.75%, getting an entire percent higher accuracy than anybody on the board, and that's including the halftime scores. If ranked, this insanity of a play would only be worth 687 pp. Here we have Shokumind again, this time getting very close to an SS on the 220 BPM difficulty of Barking Mad Dog's Blend S Old School Happy Hardcore Remix, managing to get 300s on all the notes but one with Hidden. Vervelian and Gaze have both gotten similar scores on this before it was loved, though neither of them used Hidden making this score truly stand out. This score would be a very well deserved 709 pp had it been ranked. Mika's up next, pulling an A blue by managing to get an insane 972 pp as his first 900 pp play on Agatsu Chikata Chika Chika on Sotarx's 1 plus 2 IQ difficulty with hidden Nightcore and Hard Rock. He wiped everybody off the scoreboard in style as he got 98.35% accuracy on this OD11 map. This being over 1% higher than anybody else's accuracy on the map with the same mod combination. Behold this beauty of a play. Finally! <laughs> Mere hours after his unbanned, 15 year old German player White Cat went on a rampage. After seeing the craziest of maps with hidden double time and getting many 800 pp scores and even a 900 pp score, climbing to number 27 in just 4 hours of playtime. His hidden double time FC of Azuyan's Scanny Do Luck on Ayura difficulty is one of those scores being worth a wicked 859 pp, and with that 98.98% accuracy he got, this place seemingly effortlessly landed him on the number one spot of the map's leaderboard. That trip is killing me. Yes! Mm. That's clean. White Cat also went on to try and take down reforms to Tsukinami on Nostalgia difficulty with double time, though still without success. However, within his diminutive 17 tries, he has gotten pretty close, only breaking on the last hard part, accumulating just 3 total misses and a very solid 98.43% accuracy. Even with the misses, this play is still worth 828 pp. This fucking first. Although getting a little bit less PP than Bacon Boy because of the lower accuracy at 98 10%, White Cat hit a full combo on 765 million All Stars Union that rewarded him with 935 PP, sniping Vexai. He set this score with a play count Let's of 14 on. plays only. To sum it up, it is apparently possible to set a 900 pp play as a 5 digit, so don't give up. Oh my god, bless RNG. Bless RNG. Oh my god, I'm shaking so much. 900 years. Oh Rip Ack, but fuck it. Bitte, bitte. Yes. 
I'm getting a nice 98.88% accuracy FC on Black Rover TV size and extra difficulty and also the number 2 spot right behind Azerate on the leaderboards, White Cat is the second person to full combo this map with double time. Is he really a person though? Nobody knows. <laughs> Guys, Marcus, my first good score. As not seen before, White Cat also set a play this week. What? The German farmer, I mean Circle Clicker, hit a perfect combo on the top difficulty forever of Handsome's Monster Map Set. With an accuracy of 97.09%, he gets a slightly better accuracy than Chocoman, together with the number one spot on the global leaderboards and a total of 692 pp. Rebeck. Holy shit, that's a good score. It's White Cat again. Yay. The only ice player we've seen on Reddit this week. This guy did great on Kodakumi Guess Who's Back in Extreme Difficulty, achieving the new top score for that map. With a 98.94% hidden in double time FC, surpassing Mika, he also got 891 PP and surely a lot of ranks. I guess we've seen White Cat already this week, but this simply has to be done after all the plays he got. Another one of them is a 98.12% full combo score on Fairy's extreme difficulty of Colorful. Although his accuracy is over 0.7% worse than Mika's FC, White Cat still managed to get first place on the leaderboards, included with 846 pp. I guess I'll see what Holy shit, this took so many tries, so many one miss tries. Top player's approaching opponent wouldn't be that feared if he didn't snipe Vaxay on some maps. As said, White Cat increased Vaxay's hidden and double time accuracy by over 1% on icy monsters, holding on immortal difficulty, including only through 100s. This play is worth a total of 785 pp. Ryuk is taking the L after his unique score on Akatsuki Tsuyuko's top difficulty got done by Faxai first and White Cat secondly. Although White Cat didn't get a better score than Ryuk, he still decided to FC Taejang's map with a 96.38% accuracy on his first try, getting 813 pp out of it.
Germany's new top player, who's level 68 at the point of recording by the way, hit a 99.37% FC on distinguishedly short Pokemon themed map by Sotarx, getting the first double time FC on it and an amount of 884 PP paired with the first spot on the leaderboards. This map is 50 seconds long with double time and still has a star rating of 9.12. Alright. Fuck yes. Oh, the act is good as well. Another mentionable play from White Cat was something other than his normal double time plays. With an accuracy of 99.14%, his hidden FC on One Hope Sniper's Resolve difficulty got the first place on the global leaderboards, since no one has FC'd the map before. The score, which White Cat warmed up on, is worth a total amount of 751 pp. Badius and Rollhawk's fellow Romania Max and Bogdan challenged themselves on Guess Who is Back in Extreme Difficulty, putting on the mods Hidden Double Time and Hard Rock. With an accuracy of 93.05% and 5 misses on the map, Maxim got him a good old 727 PP play. <laughs> Woo, funny number. Woo, wow. Yeah, that was some really great job. Matthew, who has been resurrected from the dead, wanted to share that his skill is not gone yet and successfully got himself the new number one spot on Linked Horizon, Shinzu O Sase Geyu in Titan difficulty, with a 99.51% accuracy, which is worth 647 PP. Also with this score, Matthew sniped away Faxai, who has been untouched on the first spot for two years. Is it finally time for Matthew to come back to Osu? Next up we have White Cat with yet another great score, this time reaching the number one spot on Sotsarx's Kimino Pierrot on Emotions difficulty with hidden and double time missing on the last note of the very last burst. Several players of the likes of Angel Sim and Spear have gotten pretty close to the score, however none of them were actually able to make it to the top 50 of the leaderboards despite the miss, 4 tries were enough for White Cat to still get 781 PB. No, don't show it on the last stream. Already happened to me. Oh my it God. must not be surprising to see him here once again, but White Cat ceases to amaze us by pulling off an FC on Taejang's Inferno difficulty of Ryusai Aika's Inferno TV size map with hidden double time, a map that is a colossal 8.79 stars with this mod combination. With his accuracy being slightly lower than Weeables, he matched himself as far as the second place on the map's leaderboard, totaling 759 pp.
Our German feline also managed the FC Sogtarkis Kimino Shiranai Monogatari in Serenity difficulty with hidden and double time in 14 tries spread out over his streams in the past 4 days, earning him the number 4 spot on the leaderboards and getting him 785 PP. Good score, good song, good player. On a map that wouldn't be ignored, this is a score that was bound to happen at this point, though White Cat still had to prove he could make it happen, which he effortlessly did. To take a break from all the white cat madness, here's Shokuman producing some of his own, namely fixing his accuracy on 8.04 stars of Are You Still XXXX, mapped by Captain One in extra difficulty. This map contains 234 BPM bursts, very slider breakable kick sliders, jump patterns and a 65 note death stream on the very end of the map, which he perfectly hit with hidden. Him and Angel Sim have both have seen this over two years ago, but now dropping only 5 100s, Shige confirms his status once again. White Cat is back again with a legendary hidden in Icor FC on Lasses, Yumichizu, and Lost Difficulty, with 97.76% accuracy comfortably landing him on the number one spot of the map's leaderboards. After Shig's ending choke in 2017 and Vaxi's one missed score from two months ago, White Cat has finally proven to be the chosen one to FC this 8.77 star map after all. Truly amazing stuff. Okay, okay. Let's Anji, guys. Holy shit. Oh my god, that is so fucking sick. He also snapped Angelism off the number one spot with the same accuracy on Patamon's Achuma Seishun on Ficho's Seishun difficulty with both hidden and double time, being 99.17%, not gaming him too much here as it's only 701 pp. Yo, nice. A sad choke by the man bolting to legendary status at light speed, slider breaking 30 combo from the end of Monstrata's 4 one combo short unknown title, and let's show them Monstrata's powerful stance difficulty with hidden and double time, holding on to a supreme 99.44% accuracy through this whole OD 10.3 8.64 star map, varying B permitted madness. This play is still worth a total of 747 PP. No! Oh my god. Mighty Dog is next, kicking Spare off the number one spot on Guys I Know Scenarios leaderboard with hidden double time, confidently getting 99.10% accuracy on the map. Being only the second FC in this full size map with OD 9.6, 217 BPM burst, and triples throughout, this certainly is no small feat. This is entirely evident by his reaction afterwards. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
One of the most painful chokes in O's history and Mika's most tragic slider break by a mile, being a slider break and another 100 away from an unimaginable 1100 pp play on Sogtarx's guess he was back in Fiery's extreme difficulty with hitting Nightcore and Hard Rock, breaking around 50 combo away from the end, though still awarding him 1008 pp. His 99.56% accuracy made him to be the fourth player to set a 1k pp score, counting White Cats, and so this score is the fifth 1000 pp play already. After setting some really good scores already, Mika's future looks very bright. Yes! Yes! Top 3! Other plays from Whitecap may have ranged from very solid to legendary, and this play definitely deserves to be on the latter end of the scale. Whitecat is now the second one to FC Sotarx Totsugeku Rock in Sotarx no Jutsu difficulty, with over 3% higher accuracy than Alimentary, namely being 98.60% consequently, earning him an incredible 860 pp and another 9 star FC to pin to his wall. He's really pushing the limits, and there doesn't seem to be an end to it. Yo, fucking finally. That's so much. White Cat also did Sogtarx's extreme difficulty of just that ice in justice by FCing it with hidden and double time, earning him the third spot on the map's leaderboards and 775 pp. What more can I say? Really, his blizzard of amazing scores speak for themselves at this point. Huge thanks to Mitsuha for co-hosting this week's episode of Ice Weekly. Remember that our Patreon page can be found through the description below, and down below you can also find everyone's social media links that helped with this week's OC Weekly. Pretty much without their help this episode wouldn't have been possible. A huge thanks to them, and that's it for this episode. We'll catch you all next time.